I just had a call with my boss man from my day job. And one of the things we were talking about was his network redundancies and having stable internet connections. So I thought I would, and I have touched on this before, but I want to do a video about network redundancy. There are two ways that I want to talk about doing network redundancy. The first is you get two separate internet connections. You can have a fiber modem and a LTE modem. You connect them both to a device. In this case, I'm suggesting using a TP-Link ER707-M2, I think. I have a link in my description for it if you want. It's what I use. That allows you to have two different internet connections come into the gateway. Then you would have your access point of one of the, so you'd be using the two WAN ports at here, which are 2.5 gig. Then on the four outputs, one or two or three, however big your house is, goes to an access point. You may require a thing called a PoE injector. This adds power through the ethernet cable to power the access point. So if you've got like, if you're in a house with multiple stories or it's quite large, I don't really like mesh networks. I prefer to use things like access points. This is how you could do that. The second cable would go to your computer. And then all you have to do in TP-Link, select the load balancing, and this will make sure that the internet is coming through, that all of your traffic is balanced between the two connections. And if one goes out, it automatically uses the other one, which means if you're in the middle of a call, you don't have dropout, you don't have packages lost. It, it will just stay working. All right, so that's option one. Here is another option. And I have mentioned this before, but I'll do it again. This is where you would use your standard fiber connection or, or internet connection that comes to your computer. Then get a second device, like a USB LTE modem. And this one you can add a SIM card into. So you add your SIM card into here, then you plug that into your computer and then you connect your computer to your normal, normal internet. Then use a service like Speedify. Again, there's a link in my connection. There's a 10% discount code. I don't get paid for it. It's not an affiliate. It's just, I managed to get them to give me a code that you can use. Uh, if you decide to use Speedify, uh, I like it. I've used it for years, but what that will do is take both of those internet connections, bond them together, and then essentially VPN you to the Speedify server. So you're going to get double the amount of speed, but also if one drops, the other one takes over. So you have a really, really solid connection. So yeah, that's just a real basic overview, two ways that you can be, have a little bit of network redundancy for your home lab or your home network.